everybody this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these cards today. They're really simple. Uh, today is Wednesday and I don't have a catalog cased project for you guys. I am having a major creativity roadblock. So I just am not... nothing is hit, hitting me to like be able to create. So I'm really sorry. I think I'm going to put catalog cased projects maybe off until after the new year and then I'll jump back into them since the holidays are coming up and I am going to be making holiday cards and projects. So anyways, I am in desperate need of some thank you cards and so I thought I would do these two cards. I'm using these two sheets of pattern paper. This is from the um, Eastern Elegance Designer Series paper and this is I'm obsessed with this paper I absolutely love it this is actually the design my background on my website is actually this and then I just think they're really really pretty and um, really nice for fall so I'm gonna start out with a eight and a half by 11 piece of very vanilla and then I just cut that in half at four and a quarter and then that gives me a A2 size standard card. So let's go ahead and make the, this is the crushed curry. So I have a crushed curry piece of cardstock and I just took a quarter inch off that. So I cut it at four inches by five and a quarter and then this piece is just two and a half by four so it stretches right across the edge here. So what I do is I just take some adhesive let me grab my snail and I can attach that and what I do is I just line it up on my grid here and I'm just gonna leave a tiny edge on the bottom there And I have a tiny bit extra. I can just snip that right off. So then the next thing we're going to do is use this thank you stamp. And I just, I had a hard time picking a stamp. But I just wanted something really simple. And um, that didn't take up a lot of room. And I went ahead and stamped that in stays on ink. And the other thing is, is that I wanted a stamp that would be really easy to line up. And this stamp, this is the Curly Cute stamp, and I we don't have it anymore. Um, it's retired, but I kept it because it's really easy to line up because it's all capital, I think. It just made it a stamp that was really easy to line up. So then I'm just taking some, this is very vanilla seam binding ribbon. And I'm going to put that right on the back there and I'm just lining it up right over or right where it like the seam of the paper right there and because I'm wrapping it all the way around it's gonna be easy to adjust if I don't get it right in the perfect spot so I'm gonna worry more about getting that ribbon tight enough. So it would lay flat. So I'm just trimming that off and then I'm going to move this up and move the bow over. Just like that. And then really quickly I'm just going to take a black writer marker and I'm going to do some faux stitching on this.
stitching and I just did that up along the top and then I did a straight line right across the bottom. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some dimensionals and I'm going to use quite a bit on this card. I'm going to do one in each corner and then I'm going to do two right in the middle. I'm going to do one right above the ribbon and right to my very vanilla piece. And that can go right in the middle. And there's my card. So I'm going to make uh, quite a few of these. I think I'm going to make eight of each color. So that will be perfect. That will get me through for a little while with thank you cards. So thank you guys so much for coming by. You can click right at the top of the screen and go on over to my website where you can see photos of these and then you can also click down below in the about section to order any of these supplies. So thank you guys so much for coming by and I will talk to you later.